Welcome to this tutorial on Canvas 360. My name is Mike Sevigny from Taurus Media Labs, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to paint out a tripod in this 360 footage. So I'll first launch Canvas 360. There we go. And then I'll create a project just by clicking on this plus sign. We want to create a project using 360 Media, so I'll select the first option. And in the drop down here, I'll select my media. We can also customize the name of the project right here. So we know that the footage is equirectangular. It has a duration of 6 seconds and 23 frames, and it has a frame rate of 2997, as indicated up here. So I can just click Create. Alright, so now I want to paint out this tripod right here. So what I'll do is I'll save this point of view under the POV tab. So by just moving the camera facing towards the tripod, naming the POV, and clicking Save, we've effectively saved an instance of this camera. So now I can load back the default front POV, which is the front view of our 360 media, and then I can load back the tripod view anytime I need to. Now that we have our POV saved, let's go over to the PIP tab, or Picture in Picture. I'll select the 360 Pass, which is our 360 Media here. I'll select the POV that we want to create a Picture in Picture from, which is our Tripod POV. And I'll name it Tripod PIP, and click Add. So now we have a new layer in our timeline. Notice that the tripod PIP is yellow and that our 360 pass is green. We can change this in the settings by clicking on the gear at the top of the interface and selecting from these drop downs. I'm going to leave it at green and yellow. So what is a picture in picture? I'm going to solo my layer, my picture in picture layer in the timeline and then I'm going to move my camera a little bit and what you're seeing is that our picture in picture is actually a card floating in space in front of the camera, but it aligns perfectly with our 360 media, so it's seamlessly placed back on top of our media. And we can make modifications to this picture in picture by just double clicking on it in the interface under the PIP tab. Now we're inside that picture in picture composition, so anything we change here will appear in our working composition here. For example, if I create a solid, and I come back out to my working composition, that solid will be in place exactly as we would expect it to be in our 360 composition. We want to be careful not to modify anything that's at the edge of the frame. because anything that clips the edge will be cut off in our 360 composition. So I'll delete this red solid and then I'm going to go into this layer by right clicking on the layer and choosing open layer. Now we can paint using the After Effects paint tools to clean up our tripod. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the clone tool and I want to make sure that in my paint palette that the duration of my paint is constant because I want it to affect the entire timeline and so I'll set my cursor at frame 0 and I'll make sure that this is constant before I start painting
So there we go. That's pretty good. So you want to make sure that your paint strokes, here I've got 89 paint strokes. You want to make sure that they're, they last the duration of your timeline here. Because if I created a paint stroke right here, it would actually only start at that frame. So you want to make sure that when you're painting, you're starting at the frame where you want your paint to start. And here we want it for the duration of the timeline, which is what we have. So now when I come back out of my PIP, everything is painted in properly. So I can load back my default front. And when I look down, everything's perfect. Now we want to output this composition. So I'm going to go to my project tab. And under the output in 360, I'm going to choose the point of view that I want to be my front view of the media that I'm about to output, which will be our default front. So we want to maintain the same front view as we had in our original footage. We also want it to be echo rectangular and we want it to be 4K as it is in our original media here. And I'll just click update. And that's it. Now, one thing worth noting is that you may have been tempted to use a still frame um, to patch this up instead of using After Effects's clone tool. And the danger there is that the grain structure, and if I zoom in here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the grain structure here um, will be lost in a still frame. The patch that you may have painted in Photoshop won't have this grain um, on screen the way that you're seeing it right now. You're going to see a big hole where the grain stops, and it's going to be painfully obvious um, that you're using that you're using a still frame instead of actually painting it in as we did here. And you can really see that the grain um, is maintained throughout this uh, this timeline. And that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and you can check us out online at TaurusMediaLabs.com.